okay so today we will learn how to import the chart up account and main account into the your chart up account the first step is that you have to create your chart up account here yes so go to the chart up accounts and <clears throat> create your new chart up account so if you say here create a new chart up account <clears throat> and maybe you can you this mask is useful only when you want to cap the number of uh, digits or number of characters to be there for example if i give 1 2 3 4 5 okay. it means your chart up account main account can have only five characters that is a mask okay and then you save after this your chart up account is ready now now what you have to do you have to import the main accounts into here so to import main accounts you have to go to the main account screen so close this screen go to your main accounts mm -hmm. and in main accounts now you go to this template open microsoft office template okay and here is the template name main accounts and the name So now by default system is taking dynamics here but your chart up account is different so what you need to do you can either change or you select this any uh, template download this so now this template is downloaded so before we import we should have the uh, import table or import data which we have downloaded earlier so by export we have this uh, chart up account is ready with us the only thing change is that we have to change the name of the account the chart up account name so what was my chart up account name my so this is the new dynamics yes but i i don't want to import in my dynamics i want to import into my coa correct mm -hmm. correct so yeah. once you download this template system will connect this excel with the environment that is dynamics 365 and with this data connector it will import or export the data So by default we have used this so what happened system will when you say refresh the so refresh will actually import the data from the dynamics to excel and publish will publish the data from excel to dynamics okay okay okay, right. okay. so now what we want we have now uh, download the template which is blank data so now i want to upload the data so what i will do i have already exported data so i will copy this data for example i will just copy five this records so i just copy this much records go to that template and particularly respective column i have to paste like main account should be into main account bank should be into this uh, name should be into name type okay. should be in type category should be into category okay, okay. we have given a cap of 5 okay. and this is the six digit character so it will not work and then we have to you my coa this is my name of the chart up account you have chart that you have to view for all these roles now before publish i have to correct my settings which i have made only five digit instead of that what i have to do to my chart up account i need to mask it with the six digit or while import what i suggest to remove that uh mark uh, this yes. cap this mask so this is my coa this is the chart up account just remove this timing and save this go to your excel this is your 
chart up amount. Now keep your uh, put cursor here and then you publish. Publish. Before publishing, just check the name should be matching. This this name must be matching with this name. Okay. Okay. Once you done this, you click on the publish. The so publish will export the data from Excel and it will put it into the dynamics. So once the publish is done, it will show publish is successful. Okay. Then you go to the environment and now in this just refresh this. This is the refresh button. If you have done anything on this, you want to see the changes is happened or not. So you can click this refresh button. So this oh. refresh will refresh this form only. And this refresh will refresh the entire browser. Okay, sometimes we need this refresh. Sometimes we need this refresh. If you look here, okay. these accounts are available now. Important. Okay, nice. This is important. So now let me put the mask. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And let me add one new main account. And let me do some one, two, three, four, five, six. Some name. Let me save. The main account does not match the main account mask. Enter the new main account. You understand yeah. mask is what is happening. It is not allowing me six digits. I am giving no five digits. Click save. Click save. Understand the use of mask? No. Yeah. No, sir. What I did sir. here, I have given five characters. Okay. So when I create a new main account, I cannot create more than five digits main account. For example, again, you see here, this is the five digits. I say okay. new. Mm -hmm. New main account and I am creating one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm giving some name. And save this. So while saving, it will validate that and say okay, account right. does not match with the mask. Okay, right. Okay, if I give four digit, three digit, it will allow. Okay, five characters. Five only five. No, huh. not less, not more. Okay. One, two, three, six. Four, five. Okay. Okay. And then Jerry, can, okay, you can see. Okay. Maybe this is. Okay. Now it is work. Even your name should not be the similar. Yes. Your main account should we have the five characters and name should be unique. Then only yes. it will allow to save this. Mm -hmm. Great. Understand the mask? Yes. Use of mask? Yes, yes. Okay. Then uh, this is the main account. This is the main account name. This is the main account type. So in the type, you can see there are a lot of types. Yes. So basically, we in accounts we have four four types like asset liability and expenses and revenue. But here okay. you will find uh, also more types like loss, profit revenue. loss. Then you will see balance sheet and then total reporting and common uh, and liquidity. Uh, this is the uh, equity. So equity is uh, nothing but another way of liability and. Uh, is reporting and all generally not used. We will see that when it is used, it is generally consolidation and uh, some reports which we want to show only for printing purpose. Then we then only we use this reporting. Okay. Okay. So this what is, is the, the last thing? one? Main account category. Okay. Come again. Last one main account category. Ha! Now the category. So this category is very important part when you generate the reports like if you want to create a balance sheet. So in balance sheet there are the standard format given by the authority. So if you want to print all current asset one by one. 
So what you want to do, you have to put your all current asset under the group of current okay. assets. Current assets. Right? Okay. So when when you also whenever you want any report, for example, you go to the trial balance. Here, if you go to the, I will take you to the another legal entity where the data is there. And go to the trial balance. So trial balance is available in general ledger model in GL. And here in each each module you will find inquiries and reports. So go to the inquiries and report and go to the trial, trial balance. And in trial balance you can this define for which date you wanted to. So here I am just taking some long back date. Maybe the data is not available for 2020. So take 17 first. Okay. And it, it is it will allow you to max one year. It will not allow you to take multiple year trial balance. Hmm. And the dimension set is main accounts only here. Okay. It will display based on main account and then the calculate balance. Okay, so now what you can see the main account, the name, the opening, debit and credit and closing. This is your standard trial balance. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now, if I want the data for uh, particularly uh, category wise or I want main account uh, the dimension wise, in that case, mm -hmm. here is the uh, dimension set. So here I can say there are like this line. These are the dimensions. Okay. I don't know whether service line data is there. So if it is there, so what system will do? System will show the trial balance based on the service line. Okay. So now there is no uh, input service. for that. There is no data Work stored in with that. Let's see the project. Project no, but, uh, yeah. Or we will see the mostly cost center. Worker. Worker. Business unit or cost center. Okay. If I say business unit, so with the business unit it will bifurcate the trial balance in the as per the number of business units change the company Okay, so what happened here now? You can see that there are two business units, and all this data of trial balance is bifurcated with these two units. Now you have a trial balance by unit wise. So there are two units. If you click on this debit or this closing, whatever, so you will get all the details about business unit one. This is all entry for posted for the business unit one. 
Okay. If you click on the business unit two, you will get that. Now I just click on debit, so it will display only debit transactions. If mm. I click on closing balance, it will display both debit the transactions. Right. Correct. So these are all detail about the transaction. Now if you want to go how actual entry has been posted, so click on any transaction and there is a original document. Okay. Click on the original document, so it will take you to that transaction level details. Where the actual entry has been posted. Okay, it it shows that this is the document number, this is the uh, project transaction, and this okay. is the entry. Now, if you click more details, you want to go for one step ahead, means further drill down to click on the view details. It will take to the line level details, or you can say journal name. Okay, so it, it took you to the module. This is the uh, invoice journal, and this invoice is the project invoice journal. So it took you to this, and then it is the actual transaction. Okay. okay? So like that, you can drill down your trial balance and go to the last level of the transaction. This is the use of the uh, financial dimension set. You can also have combination of that, like main account plus business. You will also display that kind of uh, this thing, like for department cost center. This is the uh, Business in a, this is the dimension set. Here is the main account plus business unit. So if you click on main account plus business unit and calculate, it will display main account as well as business unit. Main account and respect to business unit. Make my point. All things yes. Okay. Coming to the category back. Category is also used while you generate the reports. When you do the management reporter, you can have the, you have to design the balance sheet. And in that, you have to show all current assets in one group, all fixed assets in one group. So that you can give the category there. Okay, category of current asset, it will display all systems. So here, I don't think it will display that. You will see that in management reporter, you can design that. Category wise uh, balances and uh, reports. Okay. Okay. You understood how to import and relevance of trial balance and then uh, how to create the main accounts. What are the importance of mass? Yes, understood. What you do, you, you can import few more accounts in your uh, proper environment and then uh, you try this. Okay, I will 